What's going on? It's your boy Shaka Bay and my Fioso the Dun Dada, the coldest astronaut with a laser gun, man. And uh we've been talking about the Star Citizen, man. This game looks extraordinary. This game looks exceptional. This game looks superfluous. This game looks amazing. You know? And I said it like fifty times. I can't help myself for some reason. I can't help myself. But man, we're gonna react to this 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 beast of a machine. Uh, I heard about the hammerhead. But I didn't know what it was. Uh, I can't wait to get a setup that I can run it. Because I'm right now I'm just on a, a 1070 um, i5, you know, laptop right now, you know. I want to get into a PC build. I want to build my own PC. And I've just been taking my time with it. But seeing what these game developers have to offer uh, and, what they're, and what they're working on, it, it really is pretty amazing it's pretty dope where we're going with technology and stuff and games like this really give me an insight on where it could possibly go because if you can imagine it you can make it so uh let's get into it safe your ammo and now fire that's a big boy six players one ship and i, I just love the way the combat looks on this yeah damn how much does this ship cost in games Damn, that shit blows up like a supernova. Sheesh. Is this PvP? Are these AI? Are these bots? Because I want to see some acrobatics. I want to see some aerial acrobatics when it comes to this game still. Wow, that was a big build. That's a bad one. I mean, y'all show them love, man. We watching a video, man. There's two main attractions that most I don't like the way it players looks. into the Star Citizen universe. The insanely cool spaceships and the massive, highly detailed planets. That's Super what got detail. me interested in Star Citizen, and it's usually the Look first thing that. that I show That looks dope. Go to people who are just discovering the game. After all, Cloud Imperium has achieved a new plateau of spaceship and planetary realism. But there's something right. else in the game that has slowly become a feature that I find is I can feel my computer lagging just looking at this. One of the most compelling aspects. I can feel my frame rates dropping right now. So the gameplay and is only going to get better as more features are added from this point forward. And that's multi-crew ships. It sounds relatively simple at first, and certainly it's a trickier gang activity. Great concept to showcase in an exciting way. But over the years, Star Citizen has been improving and adding features to multi-crew spaceship gameplay that's turned it into an experience where the crew matters in a big way. There's few okay, other games that do multi-crew gameplay extremely well. Some of the vehicles in Battlefield or playing aside are pretty fun. Sea of Thieves really knocked it out of the park with their pirate ship gameplay, but Star Citizen offers a really compelling experience for not just a single seater craft, of but all it's, of course it would take a long time to develop a game like this. It just seems like it's so many layers also to it. Also for a double seater, triple seater, four seats, five seats, even seven seat spacecraft, and hopefully soon there will be even larger ships to take advantage of. Damn, how many people can be in a lobby? Is there even lobbies in this game? Considering this a uh, PC game, it's probably a lot of people. Currently, the most important aspect of multi-crew gameplay is simply just manning a turret on a ship to increase that ship's damage potential. Some ships are even designed in ways where most of their damage potential actually comes from the turret seat, so the pilot actually just plays the Man, role of keeping the ship Man, it probably is crazy. Alive. Crazy just coordinating a mission with your friends and stuff on a ship. Like... That used to be one of my favorite things about like Grand Theft Auto and stuff. You get your little uh, Securo serve, and you get with seven of your friends, and y'all just got making money and, and doing missions together. I'm pretty sure this is executed on an even higher level, being that that game's ancient now, you know? And these people have time to work on games and see what works and what doesn't work and develop one of the, uh, the best games you can play. I would hope live or getting it close to target and it's actually kind of cool to see people in chat asking for gunners wanting to run higher level combat right. missions like the game is already starting to support an economy and a compelling way to play the game for crew members versus just everyone flying their own ships all the time got yeah. a gunner well now you can increase the game is too big to be alone layers by taking on harder missions now gunning isn't the only way to be a useful crew member some 
Do they have boss fights? When are they going to add boss fights in this game? What's going on? Ships also have co-pilot seats where the secondary seat can take over power management or missile operation, gimbaled weapons, scanning, and eventually there will be electronic warfare tools and more to increase electronic your effectiveness warfare. in a second seat. Currently, there's also multi-crew mining ships that can operate multiple mining lasers and eventually salvage ships that will have functions for I don't the know why, but the people I want to mine so bad in this game. I don't have no I, no clue why, and I want to do cargo. It just seems super realistic. The salvage operation. Not to mention the shipping, refueling, repairing, and medical gameplay loops that are coming in the future. Some of the more interesting features that are coming potentially this year will be internal system damage and fire extinguishers. Ultimately, the game's plan is to have engineers on board being able to That's repair a sick and reroute ship. the ship's systems during and after combat. Heck, you could even be a co-pilot that has to jump out and basically fix something mid-combat because you'll be more useful getting, say, the coin. I want to be that the guy that hops out on a parachute and kills everything on the ground. That's me. That just that's my life story, man. I'm always hopping out of helicopters. And Quantum shoot, drive shoot. back online rather than just manning some scanning or missiles. And if designed well, skilled engineers should be able to make ships last longer by repairing key systems during big fights. Ooh. If you disable a key system in an enemy ship, that it could reduce crazy. its combat effectiveness until an engineer can repair or reroute power from less important systems to get it back online. And then, of course, there's the carrier. <laughs> that sounds way too technical for a video element game. of gameplay, where the crew on the ship can actually just man small attack craft that take off from larger ships. Yeah, that sounds dope. currently functional in the game and quite useful at the moment due to fuel conservation. Smaller ships can't really jump very far in the solar system, so they mostly have to rely on larger ships to make it across the entire solar system, or some ships will even carry snub fighters that don't even have quantum drives at all, so they're totally reliant quantum on larger drives? ships to get around. And then, of course, there's the ground assault He just elements, said that like I know what the hell that is. Or anti-air vehicles, which is functional at the moment, but doesn't have too much gameplay purpose built into it. There's certainly some fun things you can do with wouldn't. them, but the gameplay loops designed around ground combat are not fully realized as of yet. And oh. while many other MMOs encourage grouping up and working together, Star Citizen's multi-crew mechanics are already adding a new level of depth and teamwork. It's okay. certainly not fully featured yet, but even the basic turret or carrier gameplay is still really fun and easy to get into. I see multi-crew gameplay shaping up to be one of the most fun and important things in this game, creating emerging gameplay Damn, and how many fucking teamwork. Costumes Maybe you're not the best fighter game. pilot in the universe, but you can certainly improve a ship by hopping into a turret seat or taking over other subsystems. Today, I wanted to show you a little bit of live gameplay, again flying with Avenger Squadron, this time with one of the most powerful ships in the verse at the moment the hammerhead check it out and let me know what you think of stars how much does a hammerhead cost because if it's the most powerful they it, it has to be the six thousand dollar ship i am looking for the six thousand dollar ship multi-crew appeal i've been on board a hammerhead be oh, it's a lovely ship yeah i've only so flown it. follow me it's hangar eight <laughs> all righty can i get on the turret hammerhead we have one more uh spare spot for gunner the hammerhead has six gunners. Yeah. Oh, nice. What is this? They are using some really clear mics. Oh, nice. Wow. Look at my baby. This looks huge. That thing is huge. Yeah. So, does the hammerhead have considerably more shields than a Carrick? Yeah, the hammerhead has considerably more shields. I have the strongest shields on the ship that you can buy in the class. Gotcha. I, it is made for combat, Sheesh. where the character's more yeah, exploration. It is an anti-fighter combat, or I can get in. So many layers, so many levels to the ship. Hangar, we tried yesterday, it doesn't work, sadly. Wait, are uh, they in the ship right now? I tried with Frank. Damn, right, uh, that thing's big. Yeah, right. it, well, I mean, if the ship doesn't blow up with us, we're gonna get cancer. I got lost What happens ship. when you blow up inside you the ship? Lost two? And well, you're going I got through into the corridors. The, I didn't realize what turret I was getting into. What turret are we in? Okay. Uh, wow. All right, I found it now. Right, I'm getting you too. I believe this is like the biggest flyable ship right now, is it? No, it's no, DN9. Man, if this is what gaming t is turning into, they have to make it to where you can get paid doing it, because it's gonna take a lot of time to access all the levels of this game you have to be able to make a living off of it that's where the future needs to go the polygon where you at uh, ethereum no, where you at yep is that make is me rich that please yeah that's a good spot because you can actually fire forward 
Was that quantum fuel? Yep. Quantum These fuel? These turret mounts are interesting, man. It barely took a sliver off the tank. I'm it took impressed. Took a long ass time, though. Depends on it. Yeah, you have probably a quantum drive for five efficiency, but low speed. Yeah. Well, Atlas, damn. I believe. Yeah, the Atlas. The Atlas is what we use on the fighters. Can you be like a around. squad leader or oh, something? Yeah. If I put money into Don't getting a PC that can play this, I need a super yeah, sick that's coming, squad. That's coming with the next patch. There's also gonna be and an we'll traverse in the, the galaxy crisis. kicking ass yeah, everywhere. Somebody's fi fighting sockets. Somebody's so fighting sockets. Yeah, yeah, let's help them. Yeah, laser repeater stor distortion. Oh! Wow. Friendly down. Oh no, oh. sockets. Yeah, I'm alive. I bailed out of the ship in time. We're gonna pick you up in a few. <laughs> Alright. Wait. Oh, no, Damn, these views are can. absolutely. I'm not gonna keep saying the word amazing. Hey, so these, this is a preposterous view. Uh, it's above me. A positively oh, preposterous view. Yeah. I can't open that, uh, that door. No, you I need to it, open it, man. <laughs> I'm in. He flew out the ship and he goes around and says, I can't open the door. Open it for me. Like, the level of right. realism. Enemy targets in front. Just pick something you want to shoot. I'm getting right in the middle of them. Alrighty. What kind of targets we got here? Dead ones. <laughs> don't know it yet. Oh, Wait, none of fun. you guys have bounties? Except sockets? Damn. Well, crime's dead one because I already went to prison. Ooh, that's one. <laughs> wow, that is the fastest <laughs> I've ever seen a Valkyrie go down. Damn, what do you do against that? <laughs> Can you run away from it? If you see that ship coming towards you with six people on it, what is your strategy to get away from that? Oh no, I can't see him. Sheesh! <laughs> nice. Oh, this is so good. I love it. Uh, I don't think Dama has an atmosphere. That shit seems OP. Dama definitely has an atmosphere. Yeah, Alright, we're gonna end on the atmosphere in shot. Yeah. That uh, must be the $6,000 ship. If you want to, I can fly to the OM point after this and just. Damn, how much work did they put into this. the design of yep. this? Got and target 22k. I'm getting into an angle. Maybe all of you can shoot then. Yep. Yes. And range. No, well, Hammerhead is meant to be completely surrounded. Damn, how do you get away? Alright. Next Main one. Target. Don't go near Next it. One. Next I one. love that shit. I would, I would blow up a lot of shit. See what they do I just like the way they blow up. Missions where if you can like really engage in like much bigger, much more difficult enemy eventually. So it's like the thing is when the server works, the AI is horrendously <laughs> good. Let me, oh, yeah. let me put it this way. So the AI right now is mimicking the lowest, cheapest blade that you can purchase. Gotcha. The lowest, okay. cheapest, what? Oh, so it's gonna get better. Oh, yeah. 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 They already Server have meshing. The AI. They already have the AI for doing it better, but. So we're just waiting on, like, server meshing so they can dedicate it? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's one of those. Okay, they're talking too technical. I don't know what the hell they're talking about right now. Waiting for the AI for silver meshing? Salty Mike's at the tick rates of the What the server. hell is like that? What the hell is silver meshing AI? Waiting for it. I know Elon Musk was talking about AI and using the AI to beat players in Dota, but I don't play Dota. I'm only going to know if the AI is good, the new AI is good, when I see it. Because there's no AI that can beat me. I'm undefeated. Or something like that. Really low. More like five. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my god. Wow, man, that's <laughs> what the fuck? So cool looking, man. And now they have it. That is cool looking. Hurricane to the right. Essentially, we Damn. Have. This is these our games. We are the it's gonna be hard to unplug from these games. They're gonna look too realistic. They're gonna be too immersive with too many features. Like, whew, kiss your Should life goodbye. Mess. Yes. And boom. Down. Nice kill. Alright. This blow up so beautiful. Shooting us and next one is the hammerhead. Wait until we're like fire and fire. This fire in the hole. Oh, 
wow, look at the scorch marks on that thing. Yeah, that thing is big. That is a big ass ship. That is a big ass ship. I mean, damn. I mean, I wonder if they have the one that looks like the what is it called? The destroyer, the star destroyer, or whatever it's fucking called. That should be crazy. That is awesome. Death Star. <laughs> oh there my god. Goes. Damn. <laughs> expecting wow. for more of a fight and the fact that they developed interiors with all these types of features for each ship man these people really was dedicated this was definitely a passion project i know it wasn't t made like a typical game it wasn't made by a triple a studio and to see what they've achieved it's like jeez louise i love it somebody's shooting at us somebody's shooting oh us. oh that's bethesda is coming yeah, yeah. The turret. you can't really target like you don't you don't get a pip for that Bethesda got jealous and wanted yeah, in. Your gimbals will track them. You gotta get really close. Wow, that is <laughs> okay, They're dead. Nice. Well, there goes that problem. Didn't they also talk about you know removing the quantum? How difficult is that to fly? Right. That dude's turret is going yes, crazy. The players can't steal and cause havoc with it again. Oh, I see. Uh, just, for, yeah. just for now. Oh, oh that's boring. Cool. Essentially. Man, this is pretty dope, man. I'm not gonna even lie to see you guys. That turret is going crazy, man. These ships are looking amazing, bro. If you have this ship, tell me how much it costs in USD. How much does this ship cost in USD? Cause uh, somebody said that the whales buy all the ships. That sounds like Bitcoin. What what type of whales play video games? Come on, man. Actually, the interest yeah. we can steal will no longer be able to jump. Yeah, it'll be temporary until player addresses are in anyway. Yeah, when the player address comes, Shit. we get our quantum drive back. Shit. Unless, nice. otherwise the ship would be useless. Looking for clues, scanning the What destroys that ship? We got a F8 lightning in front of us. Three Ample hurricane. Shoot him. Next target is hurricane. hurricane Please delete that thing. On him. That's like oh. a million <laughs> shots. Jesus. Is this and the hammerhead? The hammerhead. Yep. Save your ammo. And now, fire. More. Damn. <laughs> More DACA. <laughs> they just lighting that shit up. Big ass ship lighting it the fuck up. There we go. They just not stopping either. Fuck. That shit seems OP as hell. But it's taking hits. That shit is powerful. Damn. Damn. Didn't even lose nice. our shields. All right, guys, that kind of wraps it up for showing off just one aspect oh. of multi-crew gameplay. If you're looking to try out Star Citizen, I recommend using my referral code here. I'll link it in the video description because yeah, when you code, make. Man. Hey, man, it's Mace Windu, man, letting you guys look at this. Man, let me know what y'all think, man. Because I, I was a Jedi in my past life. I was Obi-Wan Kenobi Wan, you know. But I'm still impressed. I'm still impressed. As Mace Windu himself, I am still impressed. As the original Mace Windu. Come on, man. But, hey, it's Shaka being that mafioso to done die the coldest astronaut with a laser gun. Signing up, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what your setup is. Tell me how you playing that. Tell me everything about it, man. I'm here for it, man. I'm here for it. I'm a knowledge seeker. Skywalker. All right? Hey, signing up, man. Y'all be easy. Peace.